you know, I'm I'm actually involved in this uh, upgrade of the website, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm pulling content from, um, you know, from the last 20 years about books, and I'm finding that I'm rediscovering a lot of important uh, books written by writers who aren't getting the kind of acclaim that I believe that they should be getting. Mm -hmm. uh, writers like John Henry Clark. Um, oh my God, I loved him. Yeah, a Amos. Amos Wilson, um, just uh, a, a, a wide variety of authors who've written um, important uh, but significant works. Um, Chancellor Williams, uh, Ivan Van Sertimer, and as I pull this stuff together and rediscover these works, it's, it's really important. One book that I actually read within the last 10 years, but again, really deserves a lot more attention, is um, uh, Walter Rodney's um, How Europe Undeveloped Africa. Mm, that's um, a, good one. A, a classic book uh, written, I'm not sure how many years ago it was written, but it resonates and is important today because it helps you understand um, Western influence on the African nation. And often we want to, you know, blame the people in on the continent mm -hmm. for the ills that they may be uh, suffering. But they uh, inherited this mess. They inherited it. It was placed upon them. Right. It, it, and still, almost like Haiti in a way, still placed upon them because of um, the relationships that they still have with the the colonizers. Absolutely, know? absolutely, and and. And there's a, there's even a level of, of brainwashing that's involved. Right, right. You know, Let's just not go there. yeah. <laughs> so, but um, it it really helps put things in the context that helps you understand uh, how not just uh, the the, the nations on, in Africa are in in the condition that they're in today, but it helps you understand how we, why we are where we are uh, in the United States. And I think those those books are really important, as well as those writers. Well, you know what? I think a companion book on top of that is probably the Miseducation of the Negro. A, add a that classic on book. I was exactly. I was you know I also migrated his page recently, Carter G. Woodson's, and um, stuff he wrote decades ago really should be read today. I mean, if it, it, it's just. Um, in fact, I put I found an audio program, uh, audio of him speaking. I never heard his voice before, uh, but you can find that on the website. And uh, yeah, the, the man was brilliant, ahead of his time, and prophetic in many ways. Mm -hmm. And if you're just tuning in and you just missed everything, you can find this interview on our website, what's the four and onecom Just look under the book tab, and you'll also be able to see it on the. AALBC.com website as well. And make sure you visit both websites, um, you know, and definitely if you are into books, you want to make sure that you, you know, support um, Troy Johnson and his, um, his venture. So with that, we will see you next time.